the concept of work gives us our introduction to the concept of energy, which is probably the single most important idea in all of physics. In fact, you could argue that energy is the most important concept in all of science. But the idea of energy wasn't really well established in physics until the middle of the 19th century. So these are some ideas that are hard won by many, many brilliant scientists. As I said, it's not something that came out of the equations, but it turns out to be something that's very important to nature. So we might as well start without any further fanfare. The formula for work is deceptively simple, just like most of the formulas in physics. I like to say that an equation is a lot like a poem. It presents a tremendous amount of information in a very short space, and you can spend lots of time teasing out the information from it. Here it is. Work is the force applied to an object along the displacement. So we have these two vectors, the force vector and the displacement vector, and the extent to which they are together tells you the work done. The unit of work is what it would have to be in this case. It's the unit of force times the unit of displacement, or Newton times meter. This is a very important quantity, and so we give it its own unit. We call it the joule. Like all SI units that are named after people, if you write out the unit name, it's not capitalized, but the unit symbol is capitalized. So the symbol for a joule is capital J. You can break it down into its fundamental units, the fundamental units of distance, mass, and time. So a newton recalls a kilogram meter per second squared. Multiply it by a meter. We end up with kilogram meter squared per second squared as being the composition of the joule. From this definition of work, it's really easy to calculate, say, the work required to lift an object. An object, for example, of mass m, lift it up a height h. Well, the work required for that is just mgh, because the force required to lift something is mg to counteract gravity, and the height through which you lift it is h. 